Good morning, Fargo. Uh, Tony Gehrig, your Fargo City Commissioner, on a beautiful day here in Fargo. Uh, I, want, I want to speak with you today about the August 15th uh, City Commission meeting. I'll do my recap of the four or five biggest issues on that agenda. Feel free to contact me and ask questions uh, that I don't cover here today. Uh, number one on the agenda was the discussion about the FedEx pilot. If you can remember, that was about a $620,000 payment in lieu of taxes we gave to a multi-billion dollar corporation to move in the city of Fargo, even though they said that they were going to move here anyway. Uh, and we also took business from Grand Forks in order to have them come here, if you believe that the pilot was the reason they came here, uh, which I don't believe. I believe they came here because we are the best city for them, because we have a fantastic airport, because we have two interstates running through us, and because we have a great workforce that is willing to work and ready to work. Um, so. We had executives come in from FedEx. Uh, they it gave us the reasons why they believe they came here, why and what they uh, what they considered in the move here. I asked them the same question: Would you have moved here without the incentive? Which we all know is true. Um, and they they didn't give an answer. They simply did not give an answer. And they said, "I don't know. It's hard to say." Well, it's not hard to say. Uh, you either were going to come here or you weren't. Um, and we all know that they won't say because they can't. And the, the, the reality is, is that they were going to come here no matter what. So we basically sp spent $620,000 of your money that you're going to have to pay back to the city of Fargo uh, in order to uh, have them come here. It was a giveaway is what it was. It was not an incentive. So there was no up or down vote there. I called. I asked the other uh, uh, commissioners to re-vote at that point. Uh, I was in the minority on that vote so uh, in, in, uh, initially, so I could not call for a re-vote at that meeting. I was able to at the next meeting, and you will see a video uh, regarding that uh, coming up here next. Uh, but I was unable to call for it then. It just moved on and there was no vote taken. Uh, but the people of Fargo were heard pretty loud and clear on that one. And that was just one more example of these incentives uh, not helping the city of Fargo, and in fact hurting the residents that live here. Next we talked about sales tax extension. And what the city commission had to do was, we didn't pass a sales tax extension. We can't do that on our own. We need you, the citizens of Fargo, to do that if you want us, if you want to. Uh, all we can do is put the language on the ballot. So what this would do is uh, extend two half cent sales taxes for the next 80 plus years if required. Um, and it, 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 it will be the mechanism to fund permanent flood protection in the city of Fargo, whether that be internal uh, and and the diversion or whatever it ends up being. Uh, but it will, it should cover all of those costs. Uh, so we simply put the language on there. I was comfortable voting yes because you as, as residents get to look at what we're asking you to do uh, and uh, make an educated decision as are you comfortable paying that tax up front uh, for that amount of time, which has never happened before. There's never been an 80 year tax before. There were two things that needed to change in my opinion uh, and that did, that ended up did getting changed after a lot of work by, by yours truly. Uh, one, the language was extremely broad. This was an extension of the 2012 sales tax. In 2012, the, the tax said we could use it for roads and bridges and buildings and all kinds of stuff and flood protection. But when you voted on it in 2012, what did it say on the ballot? It said flood protection. So most people didn't read the entire bill. Uh, I did. And I, I was against it then and, I was, and I'm against it now. Um, but that was changed and we, we got rid of all the other wording besides flood protection. So that's what you'll be voting on in November is just flood protection. So that was a good win for us uh, to, to make it so it wouldn't be so broad and they could use it no matter how they wanted if you passed it. To go along with that point, there was no sunset at the end. So if we would have paid for the diversion, let's say in 2055, uh, this tax would have kept on going and going and going until 2086. Uh, which was unacceptable, obviously, because we're passing this for permanent flood protection. If we get permanent flood, flood protection and we pay for it, why would you extend it for that amount of time? It'd be, it would make no sense. So I asked also that it be ended when the flood protection is paid for, which initially wasn't the intent uh, by the mayor and others. It is now, and that's what will be on the ballot. Uh, so you will all decide how to vote for that, and I think ball is in your court on that one, but it was passed 5-0 on the city commission. In the last video, I talked about El Debron, and, and I made a little bit of a mistake. That was continued uh, to this meeting that we're talking about today. So just to recap a little bit, this company was asking for an $800,000 exemption, which if they don't pay taxes, you pay the taxes for them. We all need to understand that. Whenever someone doesn't pay taxes, the city doesn't lose any money. We don't care. That's why the others like to pass it so much. You as residents pick up that tab for whoever doesn't pay. If your neighbor isn't paying for their taxes through abatements, 
you paid for it. And make no mistake about it, that's exactly how it works in the city of Fargo. So they asked for an $800,000 exemption. They're buying a lot twice as big as they need. They're a great company in the city of Fargo. Uh, they've been here many years, they hire a lot of people. Um, but because you're a great company doesn't mean that you get someone else's tax dollars. And if every great business in the city of Fargo got someone else's taxes, they got someone else to pay their taxes for them, there'd be no one paying taxes because there are so many great companies. Um, so I voted no, I was the only one to vote no. Um, <clears throat> in general, I'm opposed to these type of incentives. If you believe Fargo is the best place for you to grow, you come here because we are the best place for you to go. We have an educated workforce. Uh, all the same reasons FedEx came here is why everyone stays here too. Educated workforce, ready to work, great city, low crime, great schools, all those things are true. Um, so we don't need to be giving away an $800,000 exemption uh, to a company who is already gonna move and expand here anyway. So they're moving to 40th Avenue South, that project should be happening soon, and it was approved. The last thing I'll talk about is <clears throat> multiple Renaissance zone exemptions, and, and I'm lumping these together because there are so many. Um, the city of Fargo loves to give these away, and they're five year, 100% tax exemption for any company that wants to grow in downtown Fargo. So we're treating downtown Fargo like, like it's a special place, more so than say 32nd Avenue South, which by the way, are both infill. You, both, you have infrastructure there already. Uh, so when you talk about infill, it does not necessarily or have to mean downtown, although that's how we treat it. <clears throat> so many companies coming to us asking us for someone else to pay their taxes and we are handing it out hand over fist. Uh, I think you're gonna see the state legislator, legislators step in on this and try to put a stop to it because it does affect them as well. And we as a city are handing it out rapidly. We're increasing how many of these we're giving out and it's ultimately gonna hurt the taxpayers of Fargo. Uh, so that's my take on, on some of the bigger issues for the August 15th meeting. If you have any questions, by all means call me on my cell phone or email me and I'll get back to you. But I appreciate you watching the video and uh, keep watching what the, your city commissioners are doing here in Fargo. Thank you.